SJ Elections. Earth Day. Academic Advising. It's the Week at Belmont. Welcome to the Week at Belmont. I'm Erin Carson. The Society of Physics students is presenting their annual convo, Belmont Mythbusters, Monday at 10 a.m. in Hitch 111. This year, they will potentially debunk plot points from the movie The A-Team, such as steering an army tank by firing its main cannon. Voting for the new SGA president and vice president starts Wednesday and goes through Friday. You can do said voting through Blackboard. Academic advising is this week. For more, we go now to Chief Correspondent Dustin Stout. Dustin? Thanks, Aaron. I don't know about you, but academic advising is one of my favorite times of the year. Why is that? Simple. Class Finder is fresh and the possibilities are endless. Whether it's a strategic growth class, public relations crisis, or fundamentals of banner design, there is always a tantalizing array of classes to choose from. So what tips do you have for students figuring out their schedules? Make yourself an Excel spreadsheet and let your heart do the scheduling. Sure, you may have to take accounting 1010, but that doesn't mean you can't squeeze in a two credit hour landscape maintenance class. You know, something you'll enjoy taking. Does that class even exist? Accounting? Of course it does. The point is college is the last time you'll be able to have smart people teach you about random interesting things. In the real world, you have to teach that stuff to yourself. That's a good sentiment, Dustin. What classes are you taking? Advanced Reporting, Intermediate Music Snobbery, and Introduction to Debate Hosting. Back to you, Erin. Thanks, Dustin. Monday saw another round of storms, though they were not quite as intense as last week. On a salsa scale, it was kind of like mild extra chunky. Let's toss things over to Week at Belmont weather expert Kathleen Bond. Kathleen? Well, Erin, last week lived up to its sunny promise with clear weather all weekend and warm temperatures. This week was started with another rainy Monday, but the rest of this week promises to be clear and sunny as well. Wednesday and Thursday will both have temperatures in the mid-70s and will have mostly sunny skies. Friday will be 73 with a 40% chance of rain, and then Saturday and Sunday will be chilly with highs only in the mid-50s and partly cloudy skies. Monday and Tuesday of next week there's a 30% chance of rain and temperatures will be in the mid-60s. That's it for the forecast everyone, enjoy the week. Back to you Erin. Thanks, Kathleen. The CIA is holding an information session Wednesday in the Massey boardroom. Representatives will be on hand from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 with a presentation from 5 to 5.30. For more, we go now to junior correspondent Kevin Heim. Thanks, Aaron. I'm here in an undisclosed location where the CIA has brought me to, well, I don't really remember the past couple days, but they brought me here and now somehow I know three new tips on how to get your job in the CIA. Tip number one. Wear conspicuous, loud, bright clothing. The CIA loves individuals and loves being able to point people out in the crowd. They don't want someone who blends in. They want you to stick out like a sore thumb. Tip number two, get up to date on all the shorthand code of the day like LOL, BRB, and OMG. Try to pepper these in in your interview so to let them know that you're up to date on all the latest codes. Tip number three, learn how to gossip. The CIA is a place full of secrets and where secrets lie, gossip flies too. So, maybe during the interview, lean over to the guy in the black suit and sunglasses and say, hey, have you heard about Libya's weapon program? Because I have. Anyways, these three tips will ensure that you get a job of your dreams with the CIA. And Aaron, if you don't see me in three days, consider me the new 007. Back to you. Thanks, Kevin. Still chasing down culture and arts convo credit? Nikolai Gogol's The Government Inspector is playing in the Black Box Theater through Sunday. Check Vic for showtimes. And Friday, the One Club is sponsoring an Earth Day celebration by the Bell Tower. There will be raffles, grilled cheese, and an organic bake sale with proceeds going to Sound Forest in order to plant trees on Wedgwood Avenue. That's it for us. We hope you'll join us again next week for another edition of the Week at Belmont. Until then, I'm Erin Carson. <laughs> Hey, Aaron, you want to go half on a pizza? I'm starving. <laughs>